Hi! So as you might have guessed, um, this video I will be talking about um, a friend that I've m I've met on e on here on the computer on the internet, and um, he was on the last picture just gone now. So the picture that was just on here, that's what, that was him. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. So as you might have guessed, his name's Ryan. Um, Ryan Schreckengoth, I think. Um, he's from America in the USA. It's Pennsylvania, is it? Is that how you say it? Pennsylvania or something like that? I don't know. I'm not from the America, so I don't know. So um, he's from there. And, um, well, what it was, I'll tell you first how we first like met. And what it was, back in 2010, so about two years ago now, we've been friends two years. Back in 2010, I was looking on my Facebook, which I had back then, I don't have Facebook anymore now, because Facebook's gone rubbish and stupid updates and I don't understand and it's just blah. But anyway, um, I was on my Facebook back then. And a friend request popped up in the corner where they usually do. So I said, Alright, have a look at who this is and I and he popped up. This name Ryan Shrek and Goss would like to add you as a friend on Facebook. And he said like he was from America and I think and I thought, Well, I don't even know him. I wonder who he is. I thought, Oh well, might as well just add him as a friend because usually I add anybody just to talk and stuff. So um I added him and well straight away then, as soon as I accepted his quest, he talked to me and he wanted to get to know me and he said like, Oh, how would you like to be friends with me? Do you wanna become friends? Shall we start talking? And I w when I first saw him first, I didn't know what he was. I didn't know what if he was like a um like a paedophile or something, or um, somebody was after me, or I don't know. I don't know who he was because he was from. He wasn't even from my, from UK, so I didn't know who he was. So I thought, I didn't say yes straight away. I wanted. I said I get to know you first because I thought when I first met him, he talked a bit strange. I thought he was a bit weird. I didn't know what to think of him, to be honest, and he was just, in my case, he was a bit of a nutter, so, you know, um, so time went on and went on, and eventually then, we did start talking, a couple of months went on and we were still talking, and I thought, oh, sure, um, we might as well become friends here, I might as well talk to him, and do everything like that. So then what I said was, um, oh, do you have, um, do you have MSN? Do you have Skype? Would you like to add me on MSN and Skype? Maybe we could talk over there because it's better than here. So, um, obviously then, back then, either I give him my ID, he give me mine, he give me his, and, um, well, we just started talking, so time went on and on and on, and um, eventually, well, it was like the the middle of 2011, then near to the end, near to Christmas or something. So um, we we started talking on MSN or whatever it was, and then we talked on Skype, and then eventually. And it hadn't been, it's only been quite recent now, mind. Um, we, I said to him, well, do you have a webcam or something? Maybe we could go on cam or we could talk to each other over there. And he was like, yeah, I do have a webcam. We can, well, we can see each other. But at the time, he was a bit shy. I didn't even really know him, so we wasn't really talking over mic to each other 
what was happening is we was just looking at each other, we was typing as we were talking, usually what you do when you first meet somebody on webcam and stuff. But then eventually he said, um, I got to know him more, he got to know me more. And then eventually we was we started to talk on Mike and and now he's quite happy to talk to me, he's not so shy anymore. Um he still makes me laugh though because he's got like an American accent and American people their accents are quite <laughs> funny so I, I laugh at that and it's just the way he speaks because he talks rubbish sometimes but that's who he is anyway so that's how I met him and we that's how we first started out and obviously now we do talk quite regular when his mum is out, he usually asks, he usually calls me on, on Skype and he just says, should we have a little talk on Mike when his mum's not there because um, is, if he talks to people on Mike, he said that his mother, I don't know, his mother would give him a row or something or tell him off, I'm not sure, but um, that's what he told me so I don't want to get him in trouble. So what we usually do when his mother's out and stuff. So um. So yeah, that's how we met, and that's how we still talking and stuff. So now let's talk about something like things that Ryan is usually obsessed with, and all the time that I I go on MSN or if I'm in a group chat or if I'm in wherever I am and Ryan turns up, usually, he, usually all the time he talks about music and it's not modern music, it is music from the 80s and 90s, right, so it's like 20, 30 years out of date, drives me nuts I, and he is obsessed with the 80s, he is obsessed with the 90s he wasn't born until 96, but still he likes music in the 80s and stuff, so he's really crazy. And that's what gets me down so much and gets me really angry at him. And well, I could kill him for talking about that all the time, because it's not just one, one, one um, out of time thing, it's all the time. He talks about music every time I see him, he talks about music. So imagine talking to somebody for two years in a go and that's all he says all the time is oh music is brilliant, I love this song, blah blah blah, music, you know it drives me nuts. But that's what he loves, he loves his music. I mean I like music but it's not the music from the 80s or the 90s, I wasn't even born then so that's what drives me crazy. Mind you, even though he talks about music, he's, he does try to talk about something else. But, I recently found out he has an illness, I forgot what it's called, he's disabled and stuff, which I'll talk about in a little bit. He, and his illness, um, can't help, he can't help talking about music, so it's, he kind of can't help it, but he does get a bit annoying and a bit crazy and stuff so anyway so like I just said he has he has an um, illness or something, disability he's disabled so what it is um, when he used to be in school he, he used to get bullied and stuff and he's actually in a wheelchair and he's quite obese he's quite big so he used to get really bullied a lot and he tell me all these stories and things like that and it's quite it's quite sad really because how how he used to do this and how his so called friends from school used to bully him because he's stuck in a wheelchair and he can't walk. He can't walk, he can't stand up, he can't do anything for himself, he gotta have care all the time. So, and he's only 15, 
15 or 16 years old, so it's quite sad. So that's where I... And now, still now, when he talks to people nowadays, he still gets bullied and people still hate him and he did get really upset quite like that because he's, he gets upset so easy so um that's how people got to be careful I would don't mind, I could have a drink and then I'm parched nice bit of Ivan water And I got pancakes there. It was pancake day yesterday and my mum made loads. She made some American ones, she made British ones. So yeah. Happy pancake day everyone. Happy late pancake day. <laughs> anyway, back to Ryan. He's always a good friend. Ryan's always a good friend to have. And, uh, he loves making friends, same as me, so we, we kind of match. I like making new friends, so does Ryan. So after we got to know each other, we kind of we kind of clicked and it was brilliant. So, um, yeah. Now Ryan, usually, now I don't know if this is some kind of thing that oh, he saw a beast and that, but um, Ryan, he loves, I absolutely loves, eating McDonald's. And every time I talk to him, he says, oh, his mother's going out now to get him some food. Why are you having, Ryan? McDonald's. Next day. My mum's gone out to uh, get me some dinner. Why are you having, Ryan? McDonald's. The next day. And it goes on, and the week week after week and usually every day or most days I should say he has McDonald's every day if not he'd have a burger for me and that's how maybe um, he's quite obese but that's not a bad thing you know it's, it's just if he likes his McDonald's he can do it that way it's, it doesn't worry me now personally I just turned recently, I just turned a vegetarian, so um, obviously I cannot eat McDonald's. So, and I'm not fasting now, really, I'd rather KFC to be honest, but you know, it's not my thing to be honest. So, Ryan is always there, he always chats to me, he likes to have a talk, and um, he's always there to chat. If I got any problems, or if I see him that I'm down in the dumps, he he knows that there's something wrong, and he he's there and he can help me. So that's the good thing about Ryan. And I mean, he's a good friend, Rad. I'm glad. Back those back in 2010, he did add me on Facebook because um. He's just, he's just a nice person. And I remember, I forgot to say back then, when he did add me on Facebook, a couple of weeks later, I did actually delete him off Facebook. And then I felt a bit sad and I felt a bit that I'd done something wrong. So I re-added him. We just started talking again. Eh? So, but um, he, he's a great friend. And um, what can I say? He's he's just always he's caring. He's great. I'll help him when he's uh, when he's down. And he says he'd always come to me for when he says people are angry at him and bullying him. So maybe I could try and help and talk to people and tell them that we got we got a certain disease, a certain illness. <laughs> and um, so yeah. That's a, that's a little bit about Ryan, um, I did promise him that I was going to make this video back in a couple of weeks ago, but, but recently I have been making videos of my cat, and um, because people wanted to see my cat so I made a video. I hope you watched the video um, where I took some snapshots of my cat, some pictures and stuff because 
I couldn't really record her, she wouldn't do anything when she leave. But um I am gonna take I am gonna do so much now with my cart. I've done a little section about my cart and what I think I'm gonna move on to now is to in talk about some friends. So I've talked about a pen pal here in this video. What I might do in my next video is talk about two girls that are in my life, best friends. Um, if I can get some pictures of them to introduce them like I did to Ryan. I just got a little snapshot I could stick that on. And, um, if you would have seen my first video, which I, it was a bit of a rubbish video, crap, shit video it was. I made it in 2009. So 2012, 11, 10, three years ago, three, four years ago. And those two girls in that video is called Three Besties. Okay? And what it is in that video, those two girls are like that to me. They're close, I love them, they're brilliant. So, that is what I'll talk, I'll talk about them to maybe next time. If I have to get some like information off them, and um, ask them if they don't mind me talking about them over the internet, and uh, I'll go from there. Then, so I hope you enjoyed the video about talking about my pen pal or internet friend, whatever you call him. Um, and that was a video about Ryan. So. I should see you in the next video. Bye.